Hello everyone, my name is Simon and I'm back again to help you with your online teaching. In particular, I'm going to be answering a question that some of you have asked me underneath my videos, and that is how do you share computer sound with your students when you're using one of these video apps? The good news is, is that it's really easy to do, so let me show you. Okay, so let's start off with Skype. So if I bring across my Skype meeting window, you'll see at the bottom of the window an option which is share screen. Now this is how you share computer sound. If the meeting window is large enough, you'll see this option. If the window is smaller, then it will be hidden under more. In any case, all you've got to do is click on share screen, then click on share computer sound, hit start sharing, and there you are now sharing your computer's audio with your student. To remind you that you are doing that, there is a red border which appears on your monitor, which is a very useful visual reminder that you are sharing sound. The last thing you want to do is forget that you're sharing sound um, and start watching Facebook videos or something like that when your student is doing exercises, because then your student will start saying, is that for me? Am I meant to be listening to that? And then all of a sudden you get a little bit embarrassed and you quickly rush to turn off this option. So a useful visual reminder. So if you want to turn off this option, just click on more, hit stop sharing, and then the red border disappears. Easy peasy with Skype. Okay, so that was Skype. Let's get on with Zoom and Zoom pretty much the same thing. You've got a share screen option here, just bash that. And then you've got an option down here, a tick box option, share computer sound, hit share. And now you are sharing your computer's sound. Here it's, it shows you that there's a green border on your monitor, which tells you that you are sharing sound. And then a little bit more obvious perhaps than Skype, if you want to stop sharing, then you've just got to hit the red button up here. I'm not sure that you guys can see it, but you'll see that there will be a stop share option. Click on that and there you stop sharing computer audio. So with Skype and with Zoom, really easy stuff. Now with Google Meet, things are a little bit trickier because Google Meet is a browser application, it's not a system application. So it can't really share computer sound in the same way, but it is possible to do it. So how do you do it? Well, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to get an audio file or a video file that you want to share, and you've got to drag that into the browser. So if I find a, uh, an audio file, and I'm just going to drag that into the Google browser, Progress test one. straight away, Google will recognize it as an MP3 file, and it will start to play it. Right. It's the same idea if you want to show a video with sound. So with the video with sound, you take the video file, MP4 in this case, you drop it in one of my old videos, and Google will start to play it. And so once you've opened the MP3 file or the MP4 file as inside of Google, then Google can start sharing that sound. So let's go to the meeting, which is here and I've got to go to present now. Can you see this okay? I hope I'm not high. Yes, just past my shoulder here. So if you go to present now, hang on a second. Right, now we've got to present a tab, which is here. And here I've got to, I can choose which one I want to share. So either this one or this one, just be aware uh, here, share audio. You've got to make sure that that is, that is ticked. If it's ticked, then you hit share. Now the student will be able to listen to whichever tab you want to share. So with Google Meet, you've got to go drop the file, whatever it is, into Google. You've got to make sure before the lesson that Google can play it inside of the browser. I'm not sure that Google will be able to play every single kind of file extension, but certainly it plays a lot. And then once it's in Google in the browser, then you can select a tab and begin to share that sound. And then if you want to stop sharing, you can see very clear information up here. St hit the stop button to stop sharing. So let's do that. There we go. So now we know how to share computer sound with Skype, with Zoom, 
and with Google Meet. If you've got any questions at all about this video or if you've got any other questions about how to teach online using these video apps or video conferencing apps, then leave a comment below. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe, not just to see further content about online teaching, but also to develop your professional English writing skills if you're working in business, law, academia, any kind of field where you need to write in English. Okay, guys, I'll see you soon.